Hello everybody, this is All House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Nine Years of Shadow. In the previous episode, we began our journey our journey, and then thoroughly got our butt handed to us by the first, technically speaking, boss of the game. Yeah, did not go well for us. But we found a new companion in the form of a Pino who helped restore color to this world. Rather odd that he's able to do that, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Also defeated one of our first official boss, because I don't really count that one enemy because it's actually just a regular enemy. Now, we can use this to get back up top where the theater is and save ourselves some time, but there is something that we can get. Yeah, I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. It's not like there's EXP for fighting enemies. Anyways, get through that. Break this open and get ourselves another blue note. And now, instead of running all the way back around to get back... We're just gonna head back through here. And take this. Talos entrance and the Great Hall. Might make it seem... Well, those elevators might make it seem like there's not a whole lot, but trust me, this place is massive. Was it wise to let that little ghost follow me? Little late to be uh, questioning that. Truthfully, I don't think I'd get very far alone. That demon I fought was stronger than any monster I've ever faced before. And yeah, sometimes when you're in the ele elevator, you'll get these... ...internal monologues from her. Hmm. Odd, I don't remember seeing her doing that, but you know what, it doesn't matter. For now, let's talk to Michiru. I'm done, we shall now guide you. Let us increase our light. And of course, as we keep doing this, the cost will increase. Winton! It's done. I knew you could do it. Here, as promised. Thank you, Winton. Perhaps you're stronger than you think. You shouldn't doubt yourself. <laughs> I think you might be right. Zwee! Path to bravery. Light fragment obtained. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that for some time, from what I've heard. I don't have enough materials to work with, huh? Alright, so we need an extra ancient fragment. That's fine. Alright, well... May as well follow that ghost to see what that's all about. Ow. I'm hoping, good, we don't have to do that bit again. Now let's see, according to this, there's an elevator up here. Ah. 
Ow. Took our first bit of vitality damage. Alright. Uh, no point in going that. that. There's the other switch. Yeah. Right. Anyways. Don't know how I missed that. And then again, I've never been the most observant of individuals. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, let's head on in here. This place is making me nervous. It's getting more dangerous all the time. It's impressive how long Talos has resisted. Even after all this time, the people out there remain oblivious to the danger they are in. And check this wall, see if we can break it. Nope. I have never seen him get close to anyone. Who are you? I am but a memory. He finds it hard to trust people, and yet he trusts you. Yes. I don't know why, honestly. Zwee! He seems to have more faith in you than you do. I know why you are here. You have come to stop this curse. But you must be careful. A demon named Belial roams the halls of this castle. I've met him. You sure about that? Child, if you are truly here to end this, you must first become more powerful. I've trained for years, but I don't think there's anything I can do to hurt that thing, let alone kill it. You must gather the power of the three vestiges of color. What do you mean? This castle is built with the purpose of housing three relics. Three relics that together can dispel this curse of shadows. Water, earth, and fire. What about lightning? Gather all three and you will be ready to face the truth. I don't know that I can. Sweet! I can see why he chose you. Your soul is weary and full of sorrow. But you are also brave with a good heart. Accept your past and confront the present. Easier said than done. Acceptance is the first step. It will bring you grace. Radial ex or radical acceptance. Who oh, radical? Uh, why do I do that? Your Opa may quickly recharge her light bar after it depletes completely. Press right trigger when the green line reaches the highlighted area to fully restore your light bar. Yep, active reload. But you can only do it so many times in succession. Before it essentially becomes ineffective. And if you miss, well, you might find yourself in a bad situation. But it is useful when dealing with... Anyways, as I was saying, it is useful when dealing with bosses in a situation where you can't really restore your light that easily. Right, well, no getting back up that way. But I did see the drop down in the previous room, so it looks like we're going to loop around. Yeah. Alright, we got this, but that leads into poison. Not getting through that.
Ah, good, a save room, and I can restore that vitality I lost. Because it appears that's the only way to restore vitality. Maybe there's another way later on, but I don't recall ever finding it. And every one of these gunner boys has a different means of attacking. Oof. That's obviously poisonous, so not gonna go through there. Oh, come on, really? I can do this, but I can't do my spinny attack against this guy? Whatever. And now we have a blue switch that we can't do anything with. something that lets us deal with poison here or something that lets us deal with water. That one didn't last long. Huh. Another elevator? Alright. That ghostly woman. She spoke as if she knew me. What happened in this castle? How are these so-called relics going to help me? Well, they certainly couldn't hurt you. Alright, another save room right away. Not gonna say no to that. Where are we, anyways? Forgotten Pond, Sector B. Well, it certainly looks like it's been forgotten, much like everything else in this place. Oop, wait. Remember when I said about uh, needing to stand on enemies? Yeah, or that you could stand on those guys. Yeah. Hmm, that one's got a red shield. Uh, but someone tells me I'm gonna have to get past it somehow. I really gotta learn to use that dodge back more often. Huh. There's somebody in here, but the door is locked. Never mind, it was locked. Hey, we haven't seen each other for a long time. You brought company. Zwi. Do you know each other? Zwi wee. Hey, my name's Bebel. You're new here, right? I haven't seen your pretty face before. Yes, I just got here. Oh, sweetie, bad idea. This place is awful. It was even worse before the color came back. What are you doing here? I was washing my crystals near the waterfalls when I heard a horrible growl. I don't dare return. I have no desire to find out what was making that noise. Thank you very much. Do you think maybe you can help me get rid of whatever monster is lurking back there? Sure, I'll be on the lookout. Thank you. And you, little one, would you like to go to the theater with me? Sweet. Pino and I have things to do, but we'll let you know when we've dealt with the monster. 
Sweet. All right, then. I'll be waiting to hear from you. And nope. Wait a minute, did she? Yeah. I was gonna say, did she have a prosthetic leg or was that armor covering it? Not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't want to find out what those guys are capable of. And, of course, can't make it up there, can't make it to anything else, but we do have a breakable wall. Seems as though the breakable walls are a little more obvious in this game than they are in most other Metroidvanias. From the ocean depths arose a mystical tribe, Amphibis, the lovers of beauty, protectors of hopes and dreams, steadfast in times of uncertainty. From their hands were born the rivers and waterfalls, which flow as lifeblood within me. Their prayers echoed in my bones. Protect us, divine guardian, from the grasp of the serpent. Loyal Amphibis, soul's purest spring water, beings of harmony. Interesting. Let's see, what did I miss on the way down? Just, uh, yeah, just that. And we have another theater, because yes, there is more than one around, but we also have what looks to be a boss fight room. Alright, what do we got? Yeah. Tantalus Roach. Ah. And I'm willing to bet those balls of corruption are means by which we can restore our light in the middle of the fight if necessary. Okay, a lot less room to dodge. Not good. Ah. Nope. Okay, good. Come on, let this be the one that ends it. Yes! Now, what was this one guarding? Ooh. You have obtained the Poseidon armor. Europa may now move freely underwater and perform water elemental attacks. Europa may now activate blue switches, matching enemy outlines with Europa's elemental armor, deals additional damage, blah blah blah, bypass shields. I believe, yep, right button to switch. Or, right bumper, left bumper to switch. And with this, we can now dive down into water. Well, more like sink down into it. 
But that's pretty much about it. Can't exactly get back up. Yet. Well, without the use of platforms, I mean. And this is how we get back up here. Ooh, blue note. Which means we can increase our life bar. Also, should be noted that our attacks change based on the elemental armor. Now, I can't swap back right now while we are underwater. But, with the Zeus's grace, it's more of a slash motion. With the Poseidon armor, it's a stabbing one. A lot quicker, too. Though she does still slash whenever she's, uh, in the air. Now, we can't get back up that way. At least not yet, again. That's pretty much going to be a theme of this. We can't do this yet. Alright, well, only option is to head downwards at this point. And of course, these guys all have yellow armor. In an area, I can't use it. Probably because you can't breathe underwater without it. Which, you know, makes sense. And unfortunately, we can't do anything about the, uh... Waterfalls. Say it with me. Yeah. And can't quite reach up there. Ooh, but we do have this broken wall. Hey, the cartographer. His journal. Yes, I had forgotten the name of it. But at least we got a map now. And we've got a dead end. You know what that means. It means there's something good at the end of it. Hopefully. And hopefully something that will help us. What do we got? Pegasus Feather. Press A while midair to jump a second time. Okay, already getting a double jump. This is usually something you don't get until, like, mid-game in a Metroidvania, but I'm not gonna complain. Of course, the same could be also, also be said of uh, not getting something that lets you move freely underwater. Well quote-unquote freely until later on alrighty then well that's gonna open up some more exploration for us but until we can find a means of traversing the waterfalls, we're kind of stuck. Oh, good. This one only has a blue shield. And yeah, this is where you learn how to swap armors. If you hadn't already figured it out, that is. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a theater upstairs. Perfect. Nah, it's just armor. How are you feeling, young little warrior? Let us see what you have found. And let's increase our light once more. <sighs> 
and we haven't found any other ancient fragments, so we can't really do anything with Hibino. Although, it looks as though there's a dead end over here. Oh, this. Okay. Let me go save. So, you may think the armors are on their own. How let, let me rephrase that. The armors by themselves get... Get out of here, Kaspersky. Are all that you get. However, the armors themselves have other abilities. Abilities that we don't quite have access to. It was you, wasn't it? What do you mean? You brought color back. It happened when I met him. Zwi. Ah, then you are indeed the one the composer spoke of. What's your name? I am Europa. I'm Claude, and I used to be a painter. It seems like you still are. Oh, I'm much more than a painter now. What do you mean? I've come to this castle in search of a special kind of art. The art of the shadows. You see, something happened here that consumed all color. I believe someone did this with powerful magic, and I'm beginning to understand how it works. I've been painting the feeling of hope that permeates this place. If what I suspect is true, you might be the only one able to understand these paintings. Do you feel a connection to the things you see in the painting? A pole that's calling you inside? Perhaps you could confront the sorrow that corrupts this castle from within. I'm willing to try. Zwee! Yeah, these painted worlds, which yes, you do have to do, obviously. Um, are where you can acquire new abilities for each of your armors. I don't recall there being one for Zeus's Grace, but at the same time, I've never beaten the game. And, yep, an entirely other world within. Uh, let me see if I can at least get to that thing before ending things off. And hopefully be able to get back. And yeah, even our double jump can't help us here in getting out. It can only be destroyed with light. Well, it seems that Pino's light isn't enough. But here we have a new ability for our armor. Relic discovered. Siren form. Press B while underwater to transform Europa into a mermaid. Perform a charge attack with left trigger, increases speed underwater, and will damage enemies. Yep, we now have the ability to swim. Again, something you wouldn't normally get in a Metroidvania until way, way later. Unfortunately, we can't get back up to get to that save room. Super! But there will be a means of getting back up there. And we can also swim up waterfalls. And somehow not get pushed back down by them. How? I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. Let's see. Can I get back up here? Yep. And don't worry, you automatically change back into human form. Now, unfortunately, with that, I'd say we are close to running out of time. We've got less than a minute left. Still not certain, because, you know, I'm doing both first and second episode in the same recording session, of whether or not I'll stick with 30 minutes for this. I might up to 45. Definitely not going to go for an hour, though. But anyways, I think with that, having not only acquired a new armor, but a new power to go with it... I'd say we're in a good place to end things off for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.